Hello people of YouTube, this video comes to you in several different parts. Part 1, Reptile Haven. What the heck is Reptile Haven? Reptile Haven is me and amazing people coming together and rescuing reptiles. That's, that's pretty much it. We go online, we go talk to people about reptiles about the creatures that they have that they can't afford anymore that they just don't care about anymore that they don't have time for just anything really and we will take them from them not take them we will purchase them we will come to some sort of agreement and we care for them and we love them we get them healthy and happy and then we find them new homes new stable homes Yes, we do profit off of it. Half of those proceeds go towards feeding all of our rescues and getting more rescues. The other half goes into a savings account that goes toward our goal, which is rescuing and saving all of these beautiful, amazing creatures. And... Ah, people. <laughs> Alright, part two why I'm shaking right now. Because I'm not a very strong-willed person. I guess I'm strong-willed isn't correct. Um, emotionally. I'm not a very emotionally strong person. And I have been getting a shitstorm of hate and ugh. Because uh, one person in particular, I'm not gonna say any names because I really just want this to be over. Like, holy crap, but, um, you may know, and if you don't know, well, you're gonna know, um, my fiancé and I we came across an ad for a Colombian red tail boa male, and we replied, of course, because that's what we do, and she, the owner, said that she had a female, as well as several others that she couldn't keep because she was going to Nicaragua for six plus months to a year to forever and we started talking and we came to an agreement like wrote up a contract agreement that we were to care for her boas while she was away yeah <laughs> The two boas that she had on the ad, um, Sophia and Lucas is what we named them, were to be ours, to pay for babysitting them, and that she would provide food for her boas. That never happened. We ended up with these beautiful, huge snakes well, that we suddenly had to pay for which was not part of the written-up agreement that uh, both parties signed. We, we started talking to her like, hey, we need food for your boas. We, need, we either need food for them or payment of some kind. And she kept going on and on about how that wasn't part of the agreement. Uh. <laughs> and... I don't mind having to feed feed them. I just hate dishonesty really and lying and all this horrible stuff that has started happening. Um what was going to happen was she wanted to breed the female and male that she gave us to babysit and we would get 10% of the proceeds from selling babies. Again, that never happened. She came by today and was like, I'm taking my boas back. So we gave them back to her. And she basically, after she was safely away from us, texted us and basically said, ha 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 ha, you're stupid. I got my boas back for free. To which my fiancé replied, hey, you owe us money. Because... And they got into this really, really long argument about everything, and she just kept getting 
hostile, like, holy crap, saying, oh, yeah, I'm not as stupid as you said. I was. We never once called her stupid. We never once cursed or anything. Bad grammar. Such bad grammar. Oh, I'm a grammar Nazi. But... <laughs> Anyway, and then suddenly she breaks off and she goes, oh, our snakes have mites now, and it's your fault. How exactly is that our fault? I double-checked today. None of our snakes have mites. None of them. Even our Sudan plated lizard that we just got doesn't have mites. She is in a isolation tank because she's new, but at least once a week I go through and I clean spotless every tank and every other day we check and examine every inch of every reptile that we have so we know that we do not have any mites at all because with how many we have it's kind of a big deal and uh, now she we told her this, and she's like, oh, well, they have mites. All three of them have mites, and it's your fault. We gave you the stuff to spray them, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Trying really hard not to get angry, because I know there's no point. But, oh my goodness. <clears throat> part, whatever part we're at right now. We eventually just said, hey, whatever, I don't need this. You have your snakes, we have our snakes, we're happy. We just don't want to keep fighting over this. And I thought, whatever. Okay, you know what? That part is done. You're gonna get to have to deal with some shitty people every once in a while. That is life, right? And then I get home because my phone died and I'm charging it. As we speak, this is just happening. It's charging. This just happened. But, <laughs> yes, I'm wearing a Twilight shirt. Shut up. <laughs> I sit down and I have an ad up because I'm trying to rehome the two boas that we got because that's what we do, right? And I have the ad. I want to sell both of them together because they have been together since they were born, basically. And, well, not since they were born. They're not brother and sister. But, since they were yearlings at least and I've tried separating them they don't like it they get stressed out they don't eat so we have them together Lucas and Sophie have to be together because I don't know snake love I don't know, is that a thing and I said hey if you buy both of them I'll throw in the tank for free because they need to be together and I got this very long angry email from some I don't even know who this person is saying how I'm a horrible, horrible person for keeping these two creatures together and how they should be separated because they're gonna kill each other and how my rescue is a joke and how everything I'm doing is bad and horrible and I'm gonna start crying on camera, oh my god. <laughs> Basically hateful things that are just not true. And they're like, oh yeah, don't try to change the ad because I took a screenshot. Why would I try to change the ad? I'm not denying that I'm keeping them together. Hold on, my hand's heavy. I'm not denying that I'm keeping them together. I... I don't understand people at all. I don't know why I'm getting so worked up about this. I guess it's just heat of the moment, but... <sighs> so frustrated. I mean, I know everybody is going to find people who don't agree with what they're doing and whatever it is they're doing, be it reptile keeping, like writing, teaching, anything that you're doing. Let's change scenery. Um, but. <laughs> How do you do it? How do you keep doing what you want to do when people all around you are just hating on you and saying how horrible of a person you are for trying to help? 
I just mm, crying on camera. I just don't know. But I'm not gonna stop because that would be letting them win. And I don't want them to win. That would be giving up on something that I believe in. And I don't want to do that. Mm, I'm crying on camera. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to give up on this because I truly believe in it. And I truly believe that I am doing a good thing here. So that I am somehow slowly making the world a better place with my rescue, even if it's just small scale right now. Mm, stop crying on camera, you person. <laughs> even if I just impact one life, if I just save one lizard, save one snake, save one bird. Yes, we're doing avian then I've done my job. Stop crying on camera. Then I've done my job. I've done a good job. I am happy. Happy. I'm sorry, this is turning into a really long emotional video, but um... If any of you would like to help out at all, I feel like I'm begging, but I'm really not. You don't have to if you don't want to. Please visit our website. I'll put it in the doobly-doo. Just donate, really. Promote us, share us, and get us some subscribers. Anything, anything to help would be huge. You guys are amazing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for caring. You guys are just by watching this and being a part of this, you are making the world a little bit better. So, DFTBA.